Well, you have to prepare for the season to go on as scheduled with one eye, of course, on COVID-19 developments. Newberry Volleyball sure doesn't want the season to be wasted. The Panthers have set some high goals. That story next. Here are tonight's winning numbers in the Florida Lottery's Fantasy 5 and Cash for Life drawings. Catch all the winning numbers right here on WCJB TV 20, your official Florida Lottery carrier station. preparations for any season often involve very little of the sport itself and the Newberry volleyball team is hoping some of this can pay off later on in November. That of course is assuming there is a postseason or a regular season for that matter. The specter of COVID-19 hangs over everything right now as the Panthers continue week three of summer workouts. Hank Roan and his staff have only introduced the volleyball three times in that span. First serve is far enough in the distance you're mainly doing strength and conditioning drills right now. And Newberry has a lot to play for after dropping the state 1A championship match a year ago. It motivates everyone on the team because we know how far we can get and what we are capable of if we put in the work. So I think this year, all of us, especially as seniors who were there last year, are going to motivate the younger ones. I'm just so excited for all the athletic ability that we've seen in the gym already. Um, there's a lot of just energy and spirit coming from especially our new freshmen. When we start the summer, where are they at in a, in a few drills, like a 40, a plank, sit-ups, push-ups, 40-yard dash, and then at the end of the summer, after we work out, we'll get to test them again and see how much they improved. I just try and focus on the positive, just make sure that we keep working hard and hope for a season and just keep pushing. Reason for hope, Newberry brings back nine players from last season's roster. NASCAR says the news found in Bubba Wallace's garage Sunday at Talladega was real and has the pictures to prove it. This is the image NASCAR provided of what was hanging in the garage. President Steve Phelps defended his organization's initial reaction in order to protect its driver. The FBI later determined the object had been on the door of that stall since last October. NASCAR, though, conducted its own investigation, sweeping garages at all 29 racetracks it uses. 11 out of nearly 1,700 had a pull rope tied in a knot, but just one was fashioned like a noose. Newly hired football coaches Lane Kiffin and Mike Leach are among a contingent that appear before the Mississippi State Legislature Thursday to lobby for the state flag to be changed. The Confederate emblem is part of the scheme, and the NCAA has told the Magnolia State it would prohibit championship events there until the matter is addressed. Kiffin also said earlier this month he is in support of a group of Ole Miss players who want a statue of a saluting Confederate officer removed from that campus. A lot of coronavirus concerns in golf, but if the players have clouded minds right now, it sure didn't look like it during round one in Cromwell, Connecticut. To TPC River Highlands, Phil Mickelson in search of his first victory at age 50. He turned that mark earlier this month. Lefty from the fairway on two sets up birdie. Mickelson with a bogey free six under 64. Rory McIlroy for eagle on 13 to reach two under par. McIlroy shoots a 63. He's at minus seven and still three back of this man. Mackenzie Hughes puts up a 60 10 under par. When it's your day, it's your day. Hughes three ahead after 18 holes. A not so fast my friend from the WNBA regarding its return in Bradenton. Thursday was supposed to be the deadline for players to opt out. A group of athletes though say they haven't received enough information about specifics and feel more time is necessary to decide. Teams are able to arrive in Florida by the 6th of July. That's a week from Monday. But another concern they have is, of course, rising COVID cases in the state. A 22-game regular season will take place within a bubble at IMG Academy, and players are being paid in full. Nobody played more NBA seasons than Vince Carter. The 43-year-old confirms he is retiring, with his Atlanta Hawks not among those invited to Orlando. Carter ranks 19th in career points. He's an eight-time All-Star and a walking dunk machine. Carter also had one of the coolest nicknames. Half man, half amazing. You could say that about a career that spanned four decades and 22 NBA seasons. 
The earliest kickoff on the NFL preseason calendar will not take place after all. The Hall of Fame game in Canton, Ohio is canceled. The Steelers and Cowboys were scheduled to compete. Kevin Wells, TV20 Sports. The melting polar ice caps might make life a little easier for one animal species. New research just published in the journal Science Advances shows that penguins in Antarctica may actually benefit from less sea ice. Researchers tracked penguins across all four seasons. During an ice-free season, the animals were able to swim more and walk less. This is more efficient because penguins swim faster than they can walk. Therefore, less sea ice enabled them to forge more quickly and over larger areas. Bill? We have here some hail that came from the sky earlier. Uh, we are expecting to see things that quiet down for this evening as we head through the daytime tomorrow, starting out with temperatures in the low 70s and then warming up. You can see how hot it gets here as we head through the afternoon uh, back to around a 96, 97. And it's going to be a heat index of 103 plus. And we'll see the storms coming to an end for tomorrow night. And then another hot one on your Saturday, 96 and 94. With the heat index again, well over 100 degrees with a slight chance of showers and storms. We'll keep the rain chances in for Sunday. And then they begin to ramp up a bit here for Monday at 40%, 60% on Tuesday, and 70% for Wednesday and Thursday. Well, summer is officially here. Well, that'll wrap it up for the TV20 News at 11. Thanks for watching. Next news here in TV20 is at 5 a.m. Good night and have a pleasant tomorrow.